you will get started mastering DevOps by building real life like use cases. And for that, you need some real infrastructure. Now, one of the common roadblocks is uh, to understand how to get hold of such infrastructure uh, with the least amount of money. In fact, I'm going to show you in this video how to get more than $1,500 worth cloud credits uh, at no cost for free. So why don't we look at where and how to get that cloud credit. So let's look at how to get free cloud infrastructure worth more than $1,500. And I'm going to divide that into two categories here. Uh, the cloud providers and the credits that you must definitely consider using and there are some additional if you need some more. So the must category includes uh, DigitalOcean, GCP, that is Google Cloud Platform, AWS, Azure, Alibaba uh, and Vulture. Vulture is the Vulture Plus Linode, I think it's the same, um, you know, same service. And uh, uh, what do each of these offer? Let's have a look. Uh, DigitalOcean gives you a hundred dollar worth cloud credit, which you can use for two months. And uh, you can sign up using the digitalocean.com or you can search for that specific link uh, with the free cloud credits. So this is the time-based access. GCP, the Google Cloud gives you $300 worth credit, which you could use for the 90 days. Earlier, this used to be for one year, but now it has been reduced to the 90 days. And you can sign up using the cloud.google.com slash free, this link. AWS gives you uh, the free tier. It's not a credit, but it's more like a free tier, which you could use for 12 months. And they offer you a variety of services that come under the free tier including uh, a small, really, really tiny EC2 instance, which you can use for um, 70, 750 hours per month over the period of 12 months. And that continues for various other services. Azure gives you $200 credit approximately, which you can use for one month. Alibaba gives you about $100 credit uh, approximately. This is notional value. Um, you know, you can check for the details uh, on the respective sites, which are linked with this mind map. And uh, let's say Linode gives you about $150 worth credit, which you can use again for uh, about one month. Now, uh, what are the additional uh, services that you can consider? You can consider Huawei, uh, which has a $200 credit. You can check the free package uh, from this link. Everything is linked here. And this is the sheet that I would share with you. IBM gives you approximately $200 credit. In fact, uh, from one of my friends, I've heard that if you choose an ARM uh, architecture, you get a really large server and which you can use it for um, for a longer period of time as well. So uh, each of this, uh, this is like a notional value, but you probably would get more out of it if you do a, a bit of a research on uh, what is covered under the free tier uh, and what goes beyond. For example, Azure as well, uh, beyond the $200 credit, they do have uh, certain services which would be available for a period of uh, one year. That is, uh, that is for the 12 months. So you can definitely do some more research. And uh, this is the minimum you are going to get for sure if you just go through these services and use them at a different point of time. So should you just go and sign up to each of the service immediately? Uh, no, you should use a game plan and uh, strategically do it because if you, uh, so a lot of these are, you know, time period based uh, trials. For example, this is for one month, this is for three months, this is for three months. So if you start today, you will have everything exhausted in the next three months. So how do you strategize that is where I give you the game plan. So what do you use for what? And what is most ideally suited for what is what I'm going to uh, talk about here. So you can use GCP to learn things such as Kubernetes, Istio, Spinnaker, because if you try to do this with uh, EC2 and AWS, uh, you get very limited amount of resources. It's not very good for uh, well suited for learning Kubernetes and uh, technologies like that, which need you to set up more than one nodes to practice things with. Uh, you can use AWS to learn about the cloud because you get the free tier and you can use micro instances, set up cloud uh, servers, install lightweight applications on top of that. You can use RDS databases to connect those with uh, and so on. DigitalOcean, uh, you get, uh, again, this is a, a credit based uh, setup. So 
I typically create a $20 per month server and I create multiple instances of it. Uh, th this is beyond free utilization, but even with the free tier, if you create that kind of a setup and create three nodes or so, it will cost you approximately $60 a month. So, you know, you can use it almost for two months. And again, you can learn technologies like Kubernetes with the three nodes, use Kube ADM. And this is like a real life uh, cluster setup that you can practice with. So that's what I would use DigitalOcean for. Azure, use it to learn Azure DevOps, Kubernetes, Terraform. You get it for three, 30 days, right? So uh, cloud automation with Terraform. So you get those credits for 30 days. And beyond that, you can continue using it to learn about cloud automation of cloud, like Terraform and so on. Uh, honestly, I haven't used uh, Huawei, Alibaba and uh, other uh, additionals, but um, you can use something like Alibaba for uh, if you get one Linux server for a year or so or for more longer period of time. You can use it for system engineering, Linux concept, even the cloud uh, concepts and so on. And uh, that's my strategy, uh, uh, you know, you could uh, possibly follow and modify uh, and use this, uh, you know, uh, to the maximum. So you can get started with cloud with AWS. Then when you uh, want to learn about uh, Terraform, you can still use AWS. Then you take up uh, containers and uh, start using Kubernetes, maybe set up locally first. Then you want to practice it with the scale. Uh, and maybe for the certification, you can use GCP, you can use DigitalOcean, you can do CICD set up a uh, more sophisticated setup with GitOps, Kubernetes and so on uh, using these platforms. So that's my strategy. Uh, those are the cloud providers and um, let me know in the link uh, comments below. Uh, what do you think about it? Uh, did you know about all of these, um, you know, cloud infrastructures? And if you know about something else, definitely let us know as well. That's what that's it for now. Well, I hope that was useful for you. If you know any other cloud provider which provides some free trial, definitely let us know by commenting down below. And if you want to get started building your DevOps career, uh, do check out some membership plans that I have linked below here. And uh, definitely do not forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. I'm going to see you in the next one with some more interesting content. Thank you and bye bye.